everyone welcome back to another video today is just going to be a very quick one it's just going to be talking about the next event that's coming for Eorzea and it was a little bit late if you ask me because it's already almost halfway through October wow this year has gone by real fast anyway I mean we're already like a quarter through October and we're only now learning about the All Saints Wake event that's coming up this month and they certainly took their time with this. I mean, I can kind of understand because 5.1, like the next patch is coming out at the end of this month. We don't have a release date for that yet, but we do have a release date for the All Saints Wake event. So here we are at the main screen. This year we see this really cute, kind of like cartoony picture of the event that's going on in Eorzea right now. And for those of you who don't know, All Saints Wake is the Halloween event. It's really adorable we get like these halloween costumes we get candy we get cookies we get special items every year and so this year is no different this year is actually a special one that we get another mount i don't think we had a mount from this event for like two years now i think the last time was the broomstick but here we are the all saints wake evil is in the eye of the beholder so this is a seasonal event and it's going to be taking place Thursday, October 17th at 1 a.m. And it's going to last until November 1st, which is a Friday until 8 o'clock that day. So it's only about two weeks up. Not really a surprise because everyone is going to be kind of focusing more on the patch, which we don't have a release date for that yet, like I said. But this should be plenty of time for you to participate in the event, get all the special items, and I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. But you can unlock the quest here in Old Gridania from the Adventurer's Guild Investigator. And in case you don't exactly know where he is, it's just outside the amphitheater and right next to the post Mookle. So it's not going to be difficult to find him. And the only requirements that are needed to be able to unlock the event is that you have to be at least a level 15 and you have to complete the quest called It's Probably Pirate. So you kind of have to play. So for new players, you just have to play up until you unlock your first dungeon before you can unlock this event. So you should have plenty of time to be able to get to that. We don't even have a quest name just yet, which, like I said, is very surprising because they waited a very long time in order to be able to update us about this event, but that's not important right now. What is important is that the event items that we have this year, there are going to be three of them in total, and here they are right now. So yes, you can only get these items during the All Saints Wake. So, once the All Saints Wake event of 2019 is gone, then you won't be able to get these items until probably next year where you can buy them on the Mog Station. So you have two weeks to get these items, and yes, you can get them from the All Saints Wake vendor. So first of all, the big one this year is going to be a mount, which is the Circus Resonator. A metal turning forth that when struck emits an almost comically eerie tone which opens a temporary rift in the void allowing your circus armament to pass through to this plane. Yeah, so a lot of people do have just the regular flying eyeball mount, but this one here, it's a little bit more colorful. He's got that pointy hat. He, he looks a lot cooler, if you ask me, so it's really going to be interesting to see. So it's really going to be a really cool mount to add to your collection. As for the other two items that you can earn from this event, I was almost convinced that we actually get two mounts this year when I saw this one but it's not a mount unfortunately. This here is the pumpkin carriage. It's an outdoor furnishing and it says someday your prince or princess will come. Probably not in this though so that is a really cute idea. So this is just an outdoor item that you can put in your backyard and it actually looks like a pretty good seating area so it looks like you can actually just climb inside and you can just sit down and maybe have some friends over inside as well. That's actually a really really neat idea so I really can't wait to see how that one's going to work out it's probably not gonna be as big as I'm hoping for at least judging from the flowers that are next to it but hey you never know and the second item is a poster the fantastical All Saints Wake advertising a hand-painted notice advertising the sorcery and spooks of All Saints Wake so this is definitely another poster and it looks like the artwork that was on last year so that's gonna be really cute to see 
bit. Yeah, so that does look like everything that we know so far about All Saints Week. It will be up on the 17th. It will be here for about two weeks, so you have until then to get all the items that you want. And yeah, so I guess that's going to be it for now. I hope that everyone is going to be looking forward to it. And we really need some Halloween cheer, if you ask me. Because every year it just feels like Halloween is getting less and less attention, which is a little sad if you ask me. So I don't know exactly what this whole event is going to be about, but I'm betting it's going to be really cute and funny at the same time, with just a little bit of a Halloween spoof to it as well. So I can't wait until then, and I hope everyone else is going to be having a happy All Saints week. So until later, bye bye <laughs>